Mr. C is here with some fun fall experiments that you can do at home with the kids. It's great to see you again. Yeah, well, glad to be back. So today I brought an activity that deals with color, and right now fall is an amazing time for color because of the leaves, right? It is, except the part where I have to rake them. Well, that's half the fun, right? So you I pick guess. them up and you look at them. You and can like, come over to my house and help me rake them then. No. Um, <laughs> so, actually, I have some leaf blowers that we could bring to do okay. some stuff with that. But think about it for a moment. You have leaves that all year long are green, right? Right. So we, we know that during the fall they change colors. And the, f the colors are happening because the chlorophyll in the leaves starts to break down and it becomes less prominent. And then the other pigments in the leaves start to show themselves. The reds, anthocyanins, the oranges, carotenes. That's what makes those colors pop in the fall yeah, time okay. because the leaves are no longer producing chlorophyll, the trees. Um, so what we're doing today is a little bit of chromatography, and we're going to actually look at pigments inside of these markers. Okay. And we're going to explore this, and this is something you can do at home. So take that black marker. It, it matches your outfit today, so Thank I thought you. it was very fitting. Yes. I'm going to go with purple just to do something different. And what we're going to do is you take a coffee filter at home, and you're just going to make a circle using the base of the coffee filter. You can kind of see the circle that already exists. Mm -hmm. I'm going to make my line, and I'm going to show it, hold it up to the camera here in a second. I'll beat you. It's oh, it right. also bled through. It bled through mm -hmm. a little bit, so that's why we're using washable markers. So we have a, a purple uh, circle here, and yours is black. So what we're going to do now is a little bit of math. We're going to fold it in half. You say a little bit of math? Is yeah, that what you said? we're going to throw a little uh, math in there, right? Fractions. Okay. We have yeah, half it. Yeah, all right. Now we're going to make it into quarters. Okay. Fold it again. And then what we're going to do is we're going to actually dunk this into the water. And you'll notice that there is no color here because we don't want the water to get colored by the marker, right? So we're okay. going to kind of hold it in so that the color doesn't go in. And just hold it for a second. And as we're doing that, we'll be able to see if anything starts to happen. I think something's happening on my end. Yeah, yours is actually... I, oh, yeah. Is it happening? Yeah. Yeah, yours is doing something. Oh, right? yeah, because we have more than just black in there, right? Okay, so we know that the black obviously is made up of something more than just black pigment, right? Yeah. So what we're going to do here, we're going to take that, we're squeeze off the bottom of the water. You can hold it in longer at home to let it kind of take a longer process. Pull it off, unfold it. Oh, yeah. Yeah, so it's a little messy, but you're going to hold it up. Oh, Zach's is awesome. So. You can see in there that we have some, some reds, some reds, and some looks like blue, blue right? Yeah. And possibly, um, probably those two colors, and there's some other pigments in there as well. So what's what I love about chromatography is basically we're taking pigments in a marker and we're actually moving water through them to break those pigments apart because they're different solids, so you can actually see the different layers. So I would recommend trying them with like Sharpie markers, with um, maybe Crayola, different brands to see if they have the same effect and to see if they actually uh, have the same pigments in them. What about the coffee filter? Does it matter? Ah, that's a great uh, component to the experiment. Try different coffee filters to see if it actually impacts the way the water flows through it. There you go. Yeah, That's awesome. what science is all about. It Try is. different options, seeing how it all plays out. Uh, of course, if you ever want to just follow Mr. C, you have that Mr. C Live.